Hey guys, welcome to our channel, please click the subscribe button, and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Ultimate Java. In this video, we will see about the future, what is the future interface? A future represents the result of an asynchronous computation. Methods are providing to check if the computation is complete, boolean is done, to wait for its completion, and to retrieve the result of the computation. The result can only be retrieved using method get when the computation has completed, vget throws interrupted exception, execution exception, blocking if necessary until it is ready. Cancellation is performed by the cancel method, boolean cancel boolean may interrupt if running. Additional methods are provided to determine if the task completed normally or was cancelled. Once the computation has completed, the computation cannot be cancelled. If you would like to use a future for the sack of cancelability but not provide a usable result, you can declare types of the form future and return null as a result of the underlying task. How to use a future object submits a value returning task for execution and returns a future representing the pending results of the task. The futures get method will return the task's result upon successful completion. If you would like to immediately block waiting for a task, you can use constructions of the form result equals executor service dot submit a callable get. Note the executor's class includes a set of methods that can convert some other common closure like objects for example, java.security.privileged action to callable forms so they can be submitted. Here is the example. Let's implement. Before implementing future functionality, let's first implement some code without future. Create a separate package for future and create a main class. Let's implement very simple calculate factorial logic. Then see how can future help create a new class called Factorial. Implement some basic logic to calculate factorial of any number. See it's very simple. Let's run and see factorial is calculating or not. See it's working. Now instead of a fixed number let's get the random number. See now using random number also working fine. Add some basic changes so we'll come to know for which number it is calculating factorial. See it's working. Let's see how future works. Instead of getting calculated value directly we will take it from future. Now let's implement the callable interface and override call method. Like runnable have run method and callable have a call method. So now instead of calling calculate directly, we will call through the future object. Create new fixed thread pool of three. Now call submit method for executor service. Because the submit method returns future object only needs to cast the object.
That's it, let's run. See it's working. Add some print log. At the end call shutdown method. See the output is coming from the future object. Let's review whatever we added. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.